Beloved children of my heart, receive my love, my peace, and my trust in the will of the Triune God. I come to bring you the divine will in order to remind you of the love with which you must live in the midst of all tribulation. Listen closely to these words, my children. These are not words to cause fear, but rather to awaken and prepare your hearts, minds, and souls for the trials that soon will cover the earth like a thickening cloud. This darkness approaches swiftly, and with it, the fire of tribulation that will test every soul, especially those who call themselves children of God. My children, soon you will face battles unlike any you have seen before. These are battles not fought with earthly weapons, but spiritual ones. The evil one knows that his time grows short, and he has set in motion every attempt to weaken, deceive, and steal the faithful away from God. For this reason, I urge you with all my heart, prepare yourselves, strengthen your faith, and be vigilant. Pray as you have never prayed before, fast with sincere intent, and seek refuge in the sacraments that have been given to you as holy armor. Do not rely solely on what you see or know with earthly senses, for the days ahead will call you to walk by faith and not by sight. Only those who seek God earnestly and humbly shall be guided through these times, and they will need every grace and virtue to withstand what comes. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, you are living in the times foretold for all humanity, yet even as these painful events unfold, you remain distant, failing to call out to my Divine Son for forgiveness, to seek true repentance for straying from His teachings. Humanity is immersed in evil, which is spreading with increasing force, leaving behind a trail of bitterness, hatred, resentment, vengeance, and disobedience within the hearts of my children, whether they are lukewarm, knowledgeable, or unfamiliar with the Divine Word. Therefore, do not assume you know or understand all things, for you may stumble from one moment to the next. Nourish your souls with the Holy Eucharist, receive it and be at peace. Do not allow yourselves to be caught unprepared or lulled into complacency. This is not a time for delay or hesitation. The enemy of souls is cunning, and he seeks to fill your hearts with doubt, fear, and confusion. There will be times when you may feel abandoned or wonder if your efforts are in vain. My children, hold fast to the promises of God. Do not lose heart, for your faith will be tested as gold is refined in fire. Trust in the Lord's ways, for His plans are greater than you can understand. You must keep your eyes fixed on heaven and not be tempted by the fleeting security of earthly wealth or status. Many have placed their hopes in the wealth and possessions of this world, thinking that they will be shielded by their riches and comforts. But, my children, do not be deceived. No earthly wealth can save you or protect you from what is to come. True refuge is found only in the heart of my Son, Jesus. It is a grave mistake to place your faith in what is of this world. In times of great suffering, the riches of this world will crumble, and only those who stand with God will endure. As you see the world falter, and as human plans fail, remember that God alone is your hope and your strength. Trust in His ways, for His plans are beyond human understanding. Do not limit God by your own fears or the narrowness of human sight. Know that the Lord's mercy is infinite, and He desires the salvation of every soul. Too often, my children, even those who claim to follow God have forgotten Him in their hearts. They attend to their daily lives without thought of eternity, or they serve God with divided hearts. The time for lukewarm faith has passed. Now is the hour to awaken fully to God's call. Pray for those who have strayed or grown indifferent, for the Lord wishes that none should perish, but that all should come to repentance and life. Be aware of the traps set by the evil one, who offers false comforts and distractions, luring souls into a sleep from which it is difficult to awaken. As the days grow darker and tribulations come upon the earth, Many may cry out and wonder, where is God in all of this suffering? My children, do not let this be your question, for God is ever-present and has promised to be with you until the end of time. Though it may seem as if He is far off, remember that His ways are beyond all understanding, and His plans are always for the ultimate good of His children. Trust in His ways, even when you do not see or feel immediate relief. 
understand that sometimes it is through suffering that the greatest purification occurs, and it is through tribulation that souls are brought closer to God. Many will find themselves in a state of hopelessness, waiting for God's refuge, wondering when His hand will move to rescue them. Do not despair, for God's timing is perfect, and He knows when to act on behalf of His people. Even in the darkness His power is moving in your life, and He is gathering His children under His mantle. Cling to Him with all your heart, and you will find that He has not left you but is nearer to you than ever before. In this time, I urge you to dedicate yourselves to prayer, fasting, and acts of love. Feed your souls with the Word of God, for it will be your light and guide. Do not neglect the sacraments, which are lifelines to God's grace. Through confession, receive the cleansing of your souls, and in the Eucharist, receive the strength of Christ Himself. These are treasures greater than any earthly riches, for they prepare you not only for the trials of this world, but also for eternity. The coming tribulations will test your faith, your love, and your dedication. The evil one will attack with all his might, especially targeting your mind, sowing seeds of doubt, despair, and confusion. Arm yourself with the truth of God's word and the strength of his sacraments, for these are the weapons that will protect you in the spiritual battle ahead. Your mind will be a battlefield, and you must guard it with every means of grace available to you. Take courage, dear children, for you are not alone in this battle. The saints in heaven intercede for you, and the angels surround you, defending you with the power of God. Remember always that God's plan is greater than any suffering you may endure. Though the journey may be arduous, it is leading you closer to the kingdom of heaven. Persevere and keep your eyes fixed on the promises of God, for He is faithful and will fulfill all that He has spoken. Do not allow the troubles of this world to cause you to lose sight of heaven, for this world is passing away, but the promises of God are eternal. Let your hope rest in Him alone, and let your heart find peace in His unchanging love. God's love is deeper and more powerful than any darkness, and His mercy is without end. No matter what trials you may face, remember that God is with you, strengthening you, and leading you ever closer to Himself. Let this message be a call to repentance and a call to hope. God, in His infinite mercy, extends His hand to you, desiring that all should turn to Him and be saved. Do not delay in turning your hearts to Him, for the time is drawing near when the doors of mercy will close and the time of justice will begin. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Let every step you take be a step closer to God, and do not let the things of this world distract you from the things of heaven. And so, my dear children, let your hearts be filled with courage, for God's power is moving in your life. Though the trials may be great, the reward is beyond measure. Hold fast to your faith, trust in God's ways, and know that He is with you until the end. Take refuge in His love and mercy, and know that nothing can separate you from His love. God's power is moving in your life, strengthening you, refining you, and preparing you for the glory that awaits.